Hi, welcome back with me Wagon Welt Universe. This time, I'll give you video about Mercedes-Benz E-Class Coupe. Well, before go to the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for supports this channel. Also, you can turn on the bell for more updated videos from this channel. If you're looking for automotive or motorcycle parts, check the link in the description to get the most updated price and discount in real time. You never know when these things might go on sale. Alright, let's go to the video. Mercedes-Benz E-Class Coupe Review. What is it? Mercedes currently sells seven cars with the word coupe in their name. Over half of these are, in the strictest sense of the word, not coupes. They have four doors or, in extreme cases, the ride height of an SUV. And the visibility of a post box. This is a two-door four-seater in the most traditional sense, with the purposeful proportions and languid character of the finest Merc coupes of old. Albeit with an absolute Santa's sleigh of goodies on board to make it simultaneously respectful of the past and mindful of the future, few cars in this class have as much tech and self-driving potential as the E. It's the product of over 50 years of history, stretching back to 1968 and the wonderfully named Stroke 8 Coupe. And it's Mercedes doing what it does best, luxury, space, technology, and style. Sure, there's a selfish element to choosing a coupe, but Merck has tried to ease the decision by making this new car significantly longer and wider than its predecessor. Ultimately, that means 74mm more legroom in the back and better handling too. The E-Class Coupe comes with a mixture of petrol and diesel engines. The former consists of three options, the 2.0-liter 4-silly 300, the 3.0-liter 6-silly 450 and the 3.0-liter 6-silly 53 AMG, all of which happen to be mild hybrids too. Nope, there's no proper V8-powered E63 AMG version. Nor will there ever be. There's a pair of diesels, too, which may be less fashionable than ever, but they're likely to make this a fine choice on some plusher, more accommodating company car lists. There's the 2.0-liter 4-silly 220D and the 3.0-liter 6-silly 400D, the former being your cheapest way into an E-Class coupe at a whisker over 45,000 pounds, with a 34% BIK rate. With a claimed 47.9 mpg and 154g/km of CO2 it's predictably the cleanest way into E Coupe ownership, with a 30.1 mpg and 212g/km of the E53 AMG the dirtiest. Yet its BIK rate is 37%er. All cars come with at least a layer of AMG styling trim in the UK though, while all come with a 9-speed automatic gearbox and all but the E220D and E300 come with 4-wheel drive as standard. No rear-drive heroics here? The E-Class Coupe's far too classy for that. And much like the E-Class Cabriolet that's so closely related, it lives in a bit of a class of its own. Neither Audi nor BMW have a direct rival, while occasional esoteric rivals from the likes of Infiniti and Lexus have all lived significantly shorter lives than the E. What is the verdict? Looks good, lowers the heart rate and comes with some reasonably cost-effective engines. A winning combination, slightly fussy facelift details aside. It's not an exotic, pulse-racing choice, the E-Class Coupe. In fact, it's the opposite. You buy this if you want some posh luxury that blends into the background and lowers your heart rate. And it's exceptionally good at all of that. There's the E53 AMG on offer too, should you want a decent dose of performance from your E-Class Coupe. We'd still much prefer a proper V8 E63, complete with rear drive drift mode, of course. But that would clash with the posh, relaxing experience just a bit too much. Embrace the maturity and roll around pillarless windows down, if you like at a more genteel pace. Thanks for watching my video about 2021 Mercedes-Benz E-Class Coupe Review. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for supports our channel. Also, you can turn on the bell for more updated videos. Well, see you in the next videos.